All right, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta turn this music down. Woo. Don't want to get a copyright. Um, I'm here. And just the weird thing about this is um, I couldn't ask anybody like about like, well, what were your side effects for this? Or how did you feel? Because this is new. This is a whole new thing, so fingers crossed. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, though. I'm usually pretty good with all this stuff, but we shall see. Let me go in. Uh, eventually. All right, so I am back from my COVID shot and didn't even feel that bad, actually. Um, for some reason, I think the first two shots, um, I don't know, I kind of felt more as far as the actual injection, the jab. But, um, yeah, this was no big deal. But that said, the interesting next, I don't know, 12 to 24 hours to see if there's any reaction and like I said there's really not a lot to go on uh, because this is really more or less a new vaccine so it really more or less goes against the Omicron and maybe the uh, other uh, you know variants and things but feel good now they say drink a lot of water and uh, that's what I'll do so now I got to go back to work so uh, I'll be back later All right, guys, I am actually down at the beach here. It is, uh, as you can see, very cloudy here. Um, showers all day, but it's uh, not raining right now, so I got lucky. Um, yesterday was Saturday. It was the day after I got my shot. So I got the booster shot, went out and did my normal thing with breakfast. So yeah, I had my breakfast, uh, the normal thing with the fruit bowl, and started not to feel too well. I did wake up a little bit achy. Um, my arm had been a little bit sore, very, very uh, tender to where the actual shot went in. But I went about my business, you know, I did the breakfast and all that, but I wasn't feeling too well about an, after that, about an hour after that. So I went to, uh, I went back home and basically chilled and uh, even laid down, which I don't do. I don't usually lay down during the day. So, um, yeah, it was a tough day yesterday. So I didn't do anything the rest of the day with videoing, anything to do with that. I basically just chilled and did nothing else. <laughs> anyway, it was a wasted day, but it was good to have the day off so I could take care of that. So um, it is now Sunday. Um, felt much, much better when I woke up. Um, and again, I had, the, I had the whole new booster shot. Uh, United States now has the new uh, Moderna and the Pfizer. I don't know if they have anything else. I know it's those two for now. And um, I went with the Pfizer because that's what I had on my first two uh, doses or the shots. And uh, so I had the booster shot. And uh, like I said, I feel great now. So it was just the one day that basically I needed to recover from all the aches and whatever else with the uh, shot. I've heard other people like when they got the regular shots, they've had even worse side effects than that. And some people have nothing. It's just that I guess everybody's different. <laughs> everybody's body's different on how it handles it. So and how it affects it. Um, so I figured, I figured today I did. The, I went to church with my daughter, um, and then um, I dropped her off. And now I am here at the beach. The one good thing now. Um, 
with uh, well, I'll speak of New Jersey since that's where I am. That's where I um, still still live. Uh, the beaches from Memorial Day, which is the last Monday in May, to the uh, first Monday in September, which is Labor Day. That time frame uh, is uh, where the beaches are. Um, you have to pay to get on them. So basically. Uh, this particular beach here, if I'm not mistaken, is $11 for the day to get to get on the beach. And they have people at all different checkpoints, so it's not like you can sneak on and you know take you know get a free ride at the beach. So it's about 11. A lot of beaches are $10, $11 in that range. Uh, but now we're after Labor Day, so a lot of times in September the weather is just as nice as the end of August. Although today it's cloudy, but I didn't come here to go in the ocean and all that. I just came here to more or less walk in because I love to be down here anyways with the nice fresh air. But uh, it's free, so why not come? I, I get here as much as I can. I'll even, as you've seen in other videos, I get here during the winter as well. Just gotta dress right because it gets pretty pretty cold down here because it's always windy. But um, yeah, so I came down here and I figured I'd do a little clip here to show you uh, what it's like. It's actually very empty. Uh, there's nobody here really, just a couple fish, some fishermen out there, and just a scattering of people around, just trying to take the last advantages of the uh, of the so-called nice weather. So, but uh, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Um, the reason I got the shot, obviously, I wanted to get back to the Philippines. I miss Aya so much, um, and I know she misses me. So, um, I want to get back there, and um, I mean, my first trip, like. As you saw, I did the whole Boracay thing. Um, we went there for a full week. That place is incredible. I absolutely loved it. And I know there are so many other places to see in the Philippines. Um, namely, for me, I do want to see Bohol. I want to see Chargao. Um, I definitely want to see uh, Palawan and you know, Ruzwanga, all that, the whole area there just so I mean I watch other vloggers and it just looks so amazing so and again every every place is different some of these places are gorgeous and uh, they have less people there so there's less things maybe to do for other than to enjoy the scenery and just enjoy the unbelievable waters the, the color is just insane um, much nicer than what you see here I mean I'm never gonna complain because I love the beach no matter what but uh, yeah the water there is just so different than here so but I want to see other areas, but I also want to see Boracay again. So, and I wore my hat. So, I wore my hat. I got the shirt in, um, I think, pen shop in Davao. Um, so I wear a couple Philippine things. And all these other vloggers, they do these things where they tell you where, you know, what they're wearing and what they get. Usually it's the girls, but uh, I figured I'd tell you I do have some Philippine stuff on. The last time I wore my water shoes was in Boracay. In fact, it probably still has white sand from Barakai in them. Gorgeous beach there. Oh, I love that sand, but um, I don't think if I have anything else to touch on um, other than I do want to get back and uh, see Aya, visit her again, and you know, take a look at more areas in the Philippines. I do miss it a lot, and I miss her a ton. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a walk down by the water, and um, then I'm going to head back. Um, it is actually doing a little bit of drizzle. I don't know if you can see it on the on the camera when it's coming down, but I am getting hit with some raindrops now, so I don't know if it's going to come down heavier soon. So I guess I better call it right now. But um, I'm going to hit down by the water now, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of uh, of that when it's a little bit closer to the water itself. All right, guys, down by the water right now. Like I said, it is. It is beginning to drizzle. I would call it drizzle. Hopefully it stays that way for a little bit. Water's a little bit chilly, not too bad though. It's always nice in September, but um, it's gonna eventually get chillier each as, as the nights get colder, um, more, more into late September and into October. But right now it's not bad.
about those white legs, huh? Not much tan on them. <laughs> I gotta get them tanner. All right, guys, I am going to head back. Like I said, I think it's gonna be raining a little bit more steady in the next hour from what I'm seeing. So, uh, I'm gonna head back home.